everyone. So and thanks for being here uh, today for the, this webinar, Investors in Web3, episode five. So to present myself, I'm Harry Colombo. I'm co-team member of Blockchain HEC. And I will moderate uh, this discussion with uh, David, who is the president and founder of Blockchain HEC Professional Group. So I would like first to give a special thanks to the prime sponsors, so PwC and Stake uh, Capital Group as well as all the partners uh, who are helping us uh, every day. So HEC alumni, HEC Paris, and all the 100 speakers and companies that have already come to share the light on the Web3 universe. So in terms of timing for today, we will have two blocks of 30 minutes, one for the presentation of the speakers and uh, all the questions we will talk with them, and another for the Q&A uh, for the chat. Uh, to come back to today's topic, we are very happy to welcome uh, Valerie Hawley, Hawley uh, founding partner at uh, True, Cap uh, Capital, uh, True Global Ventures, sorry, and Olivier Martre, partners at uh, Serena Capital. So today they will bring to us uh, their vision of the Web3 market, what they are looking for in the startup and the entrepreneur view and how they currently invest in the different projects. So to start well the, the today's meeting, I'll let our guests introduce themselves more precisely. And I will say ladies first, Valerie, uh, I, I let you the, the mic. Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, thank you, uh, Eric, for this introduction. So I am uh, Valerie Hawley. I'm an ex, uh, I am an HEC alumni, um, executive MBA and, um, and uh, I, I am currently uh, the head of uh, uh, Center of Excellence for Artificial Intelligence uh, from, for Sorbonne in Abu Dhabi. And I am a GP in a fund uh, that is called True Global Venture, um, in uh, the fund that is called TGV Plus and the follow-on fund as well. Um, that's, uh, I'm based out of Dubai, as you can see in the background. Yeah, and I uh, look forward to that discussion. Great. And uh, maybe Olivier? Yes. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for the invitation. So, Olivier, I'm a partner at Serena uh, since uh, four years now. Uh, I've been working on the tech and French tech ecosystem since uh, nine years. I have an engineering background and I have done also a master's degree in finance and innovation uh, at Dauphine. Um, before Serena, I worked for four, four year and a half and in French accelerator called uh, 50 Partners, where I, I work a lot on helping companies doing like the zero to one thing, you know, about the go-to-market and product market fit. And at Serena, I'm mainly involved in the Web3 uh, investment uh, thesis, uh, working on the consumer side, also gaming industry and so on. So, excellent. So, maybe to... Uh, to get started, uh, what's your current feeling or opinion or vision of the Web3 markets today? Because we, we all know that we, we pass a, a certain period and hard period with some FTX uh, uh, session or some other topic uh, really uh, hard for the Web3 environment. So what's your current vision of uh, all this environment? Should I start? I think uh, I think uh, we are uh, we are in a very interesting uh, period. I mean, it's the second crypto winter. The first one was uh, 2017-18, and uh, this one is uh, particularly long and cold. Um, but I think what will come out is really uh, strong, uh, strong companies. Um, I mean, if we if we recall in 2019, 2020, uh, the COVID uh, was, the, was there, everybody was online, a lot of uh, gaming happening and a lot of tokens, a lot of ICOs and uh, a lot of speculation as well. So in a way, it's a bit of a cleansing of the market, I think, and that was uh, highly necessary. So now we are going to see uh, robust companies, the winners of uh, the, the companies that have uh, enough runway to come out of this winter, that are strong, that really bring some business value, 
uh, that the, the companies that will uh, stand out and survive uh, that difficult period. The valuation are much lower, so for investors, it's always a, a good period because you can get uh, good deals. You can also buy secondary, secondaries um, on the market because there are some distressed investors, especially after the, some of the scandal of uh, Three Arrow Capital or FTX or this kind of uh, guys that were uh, very large uh, companies in the in the Web3 and that have collapsed. Um, so I think for all in all, for investors, it's a good time. What's happening is that the decision of investment are much, much longer because, uh, I mean, uh, we have a chat échaudé a crin l'eau froide. But uh, other than that, I think um, uh, it's a good time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm quite aligned with Valérie. Um, I think we had a hard time in 2022. Um, and also, be, this is, I think, a really crisis of uh, confidence uh, on the market and also regarding the, the retail market because a lot of them invested in the crypto space uh, because they thought that they will be a really lucrative uh, uh, way to, to earn money and so on. And through like the, the bankrupt of FTX and perhaps another one, some other one who will come in the next few months. Uh, it, it, it's quite harder, um, but we also see great summer in uh, thanks to the DeFi, thanks to the, the, the NFT space. But now we see like, for example, in OpenSea, um, I think the, the, the volume on OpenSea decreased about 90% in terms of volume. Uh, so basically we are st still in the fundamentals of the, of the, of the, and, and the early, early days of this market clearly, but the tech fundamentals are still here. Yeah. And, and we are really convinced. And I think Valérie, you're also aligned with that, that it will still have great entrepreneurs and the blockchain technology is still here for, for being like the next decade, big thing, you know? Um, and, and this is why for us, this is a great time for building strong relationship with entrepreneur to help them like to grow, to help them like to, consolidates the base and 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 for us this is really interesting um if we just think about 2022 in terms of uh, in the vc market uh it eats about nearly 30 billions in terms of investments in that in that field and and i think perhaps it will be uh, a little bit of decrease in uh, in 2023 um but fundamentals are here so we are still exciting on the, on, on that space yeah, I think so. I think, the, as you said, Olivier, I think the, the technology has proven uh, its benefit. Uh, it was very much a, a technology in case of, in uh, search of use cases. Uh, but I think now the, the use cases are, are quite uh, clear. They need to be proven still. The, the business value has to be proven. But the technology is definitely here to stay. Um, I also think that the regulation will have to be a bit more, uh, a bit stronger. I mean, uh, when when you see uh, the bankruptcy of FTX, you think uh, regulation. So the regulators are now looking into the space to protect the users, and uh, but that's I think the necessary um, necessary uh, step to get mass adoption, and uh, so. Um, regulation is going to be very strong. It's going to come uh, very strongly in many, many different uh, countries in the world. But uh, the companies that will be compliant with that will be more, uh, more robust in a way. Yes, and I think, uh, maybe David, yeah, David, you, yeah. David, you no, just for the, on the... Maybe, yeah, for the for the next question. Thank you very much for for the, for the answers and very insight, uh, very insightful answer, answers. Um, next question is um, more dedicated for the to the to the investment in Web three. I mean, in classic VC investment, it seems to me that we focus actually uh, on the team, on the market size, on the business model, and on the go to market. Uh, how is it different for Web three VC, and which elements do you take into account um, for for Web three startups uh, to invest in? Mm. This is interesting because for me, a Web3 company is a company. So 
the, ba the, the basics, what you, you're looking for, uh, for great entrepreneur in the web two are the same in the web three. The fact is for a long time, they were alone in the market and they thought that anyone could un understand how they behave, how they understand the technology and so on. But the fact now there is also great entrepreneurs from the web two who are building web three companies because they saw that they, there is really depth in terms of technology and the disruption will be really, really strong. So basically what you mentioned regarding what we look at when you are looking for a web three company, this is quite the same. We think about the team, we think about the completion of the team, their expertise on the space. But of course, we are also looking for different and specific things like when you audit the company, when you audit like the perhaps the smart contract, or when you think about the tokenomics, if they want to launch a token, of course, this is skills we, we, we grow on uh, and we, we, we look at a lot uh, because of, this is like the, the, the basis for us. So this is my, my, my answer here. And, and, and do, yeah. you, do you think, for example, of, of Valérie or Olivier, so until now we, we know that for Web2 uh, companies, for example, we asked to have uh, uh, already revenues, clients, et cetera. For Web3, it was until now already difficult to have a project with clients. Do you think in 2023, we will start to see maybe uh, VCs are asking some first clients or first yeah. at least interest from people yeah. to the different project? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, during the uh, the hype, that's perhaps when we, we could have said that uh, uh, investors were looking uh, at uh, different criteria than they used to. Um, but I think it has proven pretty uh, dangerous in a way. Um, and therefore, I think uh, after what has happened, I think we, we the investors are going to go back to a business value. Uh, is is um, is uh, is the company solving a real problem um, through the blockchain? Is there is there uh, is there uh, any? Uh, I mean, you see that the, the utility token and uh, the utilities of the the NFTs is something that is now. Uh, very much uh, thought after, and uh, I think more we're we're going back to the basic of uh, of uh, of business basically, um, because I think we we diverted a bit, uh, especially in terms of investment investing into uh, things that perhaps didn't bring that much value, and uh, now it's uh, back to uh, looking at uh, the criteria that we have always looked for. That means uh, the team, for example, uh, TGV only invest into serial entrepreneur, the business value, um, and obviously uh, the valuation. And traction, as you say, traction is very important. Yeah, and, and, and just something to add, this is also different if you, you are looking for a B2C company or a B2B company. Uh, and uh, of, of, I think in the past, 12, 18 months, we are, when we think about NFT space and about B2C companies, we were looking at like the community, the way you are managing it, them and so on. And of course, today we are mainly focusing on the, the, the real value of the community, how they use uh, the, 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 the product or the service. And for the B2B space, I think today, when you we talk about with with corporates about blockchain and how they can they can implement blockchain through their process and so on, I, I think we just uh, go through the evangelize uh, uh, time and know they are quite ready because if we think about 2017, there were a lot of companies doing a lot of services in order to evangelize about the about that technology and so on. I think about a company called Stratum. For example, who, uh, who had uh, that uh, that vision, like to help to blockchainize a lot of process in order to ease, to create a, a more uh, fluid uh, um, uh, processes and so on. And this is really really hard for them because they were like a, a, a service company and not a, a product or a SaaS company. But today we are seeing like now we can, we are more moving to a SaaS company for companies moving in the in the Web three space. So, so okay, so for the for the SaaS approach, so that's something also you you're looking for in the Web three projects. So 
to have yeah. a recurring revenue and to, to, to be sure that the clients will be there for a long time, a long period and a, a cash available quickly and a, a, in a recurring mode. So that's uh, something you, 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 you're looking for in, in the Web3 projects too. Okay, that, that's interesting. Yeah. And, and uh, in terms of um, uh, roundtable, so when you, you, can you explain how it works when you, you start to, to, to talk with a company? Uh, what are the different steps? Uh, and uh, usually how, how, do you, how do you manage the different steps? And because uh, we know that uh, a lot of uh, uh, new um, uh, founders are, are hearing us and are there uh, today uh, in the chat. So I think they are really interested by to 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 know how it works uh, in terms of uh, round table. How do you the different steps and how do you manage that with, with them? Yeah, you want to okay. yeah. Go ahead. But, I mean, as I said, I mean our fund is a is a, a bit um, it's quite special because it's a it's a it's a decentralized fund. So that means that we are uh, about uh, thirty partners around the world. We have a license uh, um, in Singapore. Uh, and we are all um, we are all entrepreneurs, and we are investing into a, a serial entrepreneur. So we are looking at uh, uh, which companies they have already uh, built, uh, which exits have made, and so on. So it's probably a bit um, a bit uh, difficult for me to de design the uh, to design to uh, describe the steps because we we have a tendency of knowing already the entrepreneurs and uh, and knowing uh, so what what we do for us it's more about uh, uh, really uh, checking the the business value uh, we have uh, for example in TGV four plus. We have a very, very diversified portfolio. We only invest in equity. We don't invest into a token. Um, and uh, we, the portfolio is diversified in the sense that we have invested in different use cases of the blockchain. We have, for example, a, a permissible blockchain for business automation in the medical space. We have a blockchain for sustainability to, uh, to count on the, on the scope three emission of company, which is the mobility of the users uh, or the employees, sorry, the employees, not the users. We have uh, the gaming uh, part with uh, with a launch pad, with the sandbox, with uh, a publisher like Animoca brand. Uh, we have a Bitcoin miner. We have a, a document um, uh, accreditation company that is looking at how to uh, uh, put all the all the, the the key documents of the bank on the blockchain. So we have we have invested in uh, in very different use cases, um, and that's and they in a way they solve a real problem, and that's what uh, we are looking at basically. And and regarding Serena, this is we are quite a traditional in terms of process. Um, I think if we think about the whole process, it could take between two to three months. Uh, be, be, the, the first step is like create you know, the first call or the first meeting with the company where they expose their 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 the value proposition the market uh, the product the service and so on and then we will dive into it for three or four sessions and after that we have like an IC so an investment committee each Monday where we we we, we discuss about the 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 interested uh, interesting uh, projects uh, we are working with, um, and then we will dive into the specific questions, uh, specific question mark we have regarding the project, and we will do specific work session with them in order in order to dive into the market or dive into the technology or dive into the the, the team. Um, this is really important for us. Also, I know that there is a lot of companies who are now decentralized, but uh, we want like to uh, to see all. The, the, the key people of the team uh, in order to understand how they work in the company, what are the vision of the, of the, of the company in the company of the long term and, and, and so on. And when we are quite aligned uh, with the company, then we have like a partner committee. So basically the company will pitch uh, for one hour with all the partnership at, at Serena. Um, and there is after that a Q&A of 20 minutes. And, and after that meeting, 
we are ready like to say, okay, we want to invest. So we discuss about the, the condition of the term sheets, uh, about the, the valuation, about the amount, about a, a lot of things like that. And in, in, once the, the term sheet is signed, then we have like that process of due diligence in the financial way for the technology and so on. Uh, so this is more the legal stuff. And, and after that, we have like the, we have to write together the shareholder agreements. So this is like the pact we have for the next 10 years, because this is a relationship for the next 10 years of our head. Um, and so, yeah, this is, this is the, a long process, but it's really important because for us, you know, we, this is a relationship who will, who will take time. So it's important like to have like all the clues for it. For it. Yeah. yeah, really interesting. And, and, and about the, the due diligence, or, so Valerie or Olivier, I, I imagine you don't have the, the technical uh, uh, the technical level to challenge all the, especially on the Web3 uh, technology or projects. Are you referring to uh, external, maybe uh, contractors or companies that, that are here to help you in the due diligence? Because I imagine it's not possible to challenge all the projects uh, that you 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 are seeing uh, in on your side, no? Yeah, we are very much based uh, uh, on uh, on the concept of network. So in our network, we have uh, we have uh, we have either we we also um, uh, tend to very much um, encourage any synergies between our co portfolio company. So we'll we'll do that. For example, the tokenomics of a new company will be then reviewed by an expert in another company. For the for uh, if we don't have the the skill in house, we tend to go and get it in uh, in our wider network, either in our portfolio companies, in uh, in the the network of our um, of our GPs because we're quite a uh, few. So we manage to um, in that, and then if we don't have it, then obviously we buy it from uh, we buy it from outside. That's yeah, this is the same way we we behave. Um, we build like for each vertical we want to address, and if we think about the Web three here, we try like to build like an expert network. Could be mm -hmm. could be entrepreneur in the space, could be business angels, and we we try to gather that expertise around us when we want to do some due diligence with them. And in regarding specific things like tokenomics or smart contracts, we can also ask to some of the tech guys on our portfolio companies, for example, could mm -hmm. be also a thing. Uh, I know uh, uh, State Capital is uh, sponsoring the event. I, I know well Julien Boutlou, so it could be also something uh, <laughs> I can, I can uh, uh, use him uh, a lot and and we have also other uh, uh, experts in our portfolio so this is the way we we do it and um, a question about the horizon the investment horizon what is the what is it and what what is the, the investment horizon and how do you protect yourself from the volatility of cryptos yes yeah, so i think uh, i mean olivier mentioned a, a 10 year relationship with the startups so that's the same for us more or less because we want to i mean the the whole job of uh, an investor is to get a good exit so um that's uh, that's uh, that's how it works so but yeah and uh, so it's a 10 years uh, 10 years horizon for the investment with some liquidity event obviously see if we if we sell some uh, some companies or if there are some uh, um uh, downfall in terms of uh, token because we do and invest in equity but sometimes we have also some advisory um, um, token that can be also uh, um, negotiated in the term sheet and so on so yeah it's um it's uh, it's um it's a long-term relationship uh and how do you do we um uh, do we manage the risk the risk is managing investing in equity and not in token first uh, so we are less, um, uh, we we are more remote from the volatility of the of the coins, and also uh, the dis, the, the dis, uh, diversification because we are a very strong believers uh, that the technology is here to, is here to stay, that it will um, that with uh, the convergence of other technology like uh, AI. Uh, we talk a lot about uh, chat uh, GPD, GPT, sorry, and uh, more is coming big time. 
so I think uh, we, we are very convinced that the technology is there, that uh, it's going to go through mass adoption, that the metaverse is going to be completely ubiquitous. Um, I mean, so many, uh, so many brands and so many sectors are looking at how to uh, uh, go from Web 2 to the Web 3. I mean, uh, the brand don't want to miss out uh, like they did perhaps on uh, Web 2 with the social media aspect. So I think uh, I think it's uh, it's uh, these fundamentals are uh, our way. Investing into these fundamentals are our way to uh, protect uh, ourselves against the risk and the volatility of the crypto asset. Yes. It's the same uh, it's the same for us. We. We, we invest in the long term. We have a, a fund is for a ten, this is a 10 years old fund. Uh, so basically we have five years to invest and five years to see how the, the portfolio behave and help them like to create a new equity story, a new round. And after that to help them like to the, to, to the exit. Um, as a Valerie for us in the Web3 space for the moment, we only invest in equity, uh, but, but we see new way to invest in, uh, in companies. I think eight, uh, 18 months ago, there were a lot of companies uh, raising uh, in token. Uh, there is a, a great example, Morpho, for example, uh, only raised in token and it was with uh, A60Z. Um, so th that was really new. And as, as investors, we also think about the way VC will need to invest in the next 10 years. And we think about it and how to behave as a, a new investor in token. So for the moment, we are building this new compliance things uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, at Serena. And the AMF, uh, which is the French regulator, um, is also looking at it uh, really especially and um, wants like to have a strong cybersecurity process. Uh, so we are working with them for the moment in order to be uh, able to, to, uh, to invest in token. And of course, it will be different in order to, uh, uh, to leverage the risks and perhaps to sell your token uh, of a company. But for us, we will behave as we behaved before. So we won't like to be uh, in the company for, for the long term. Okay, maybe one question specific uh, to, to, the, to AI, uh, since we have uh, AI specialists around the table. Um, do you have any, I mean, what kind of specificity would, would you, would you look at, you know, when you invest in a, in a company, uh, uh with, with AI, uh, technology and, 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 and that, uh, yeah. And how do you rank it? I mean, is it like web three, if it uses blockchain, you know, mixing with AI, how do you, um, do you, do you classify it and, and finally deal, deal with it? Yeah. Well, uh, I, think, I think they. I, I think you you ask uh, Chat GPT if it's a good investment or not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think AI is a is a vast, uh, very vast subject. But I I think AI are tools more than. Uh, I mean, I think blockchain. Uh, the aspect of blockchain that I find very interesting. It's uh, it's a technology with uh, with values, with emotion. I mean, there is a a whole thinking uh, thinking process behind about being free and being not uh, uh, managed by uh, central authority and uh, being able to do i mean it's a it's a it's a very much where ai is um, is data science uh, it's uh, even if it seems magic it's it's quite boring it's uh, thousands thousands of uh, of uh, parameters uh, the strengths of AI is obviously uh, the, the huge uh, memories and computing powers and uh, and and uh, and uh, the how can I, the sophistication of the algorithm. Um, AI is already uh, very present in all what is uh, in uh, what is video gaming. I mean, it's uh, it's already very present. We don't see it because uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's ubiquitous in our life, even with uh, small things like OCR. Or I mean, so but it's accelerating. I mean, uh, Chat GPT, GPT, the next version is going to be a thousand times more pow more powerful than it is now. So we can imagine that it's going to really disrupt um, uh, the way we uh, the way we we do things. 
for sure. Um, but I think uh, as you can, uh, as you, if you have tried it as well, I think uh, the, the, the big question is how, how good is the question that you ask uh, AI? And uh, that still remain uh, something that human can do um, and should do. Um, so it's uh, it's all about when I when we look into uh, companies that are using AI, it's uh, it's about uh, what what uh, how how uh, is AI solving the problem and what is the question that uh, AI is really uh, answering and how can we build on that. Uh, after that, then I think. Uh, uh, there are a lot of things and a lot of uh, great uh, discoveries that are being uh, uh, being prepared in the labs, and uh, we are going to see amazing things. Uh, but definitely, uh, the, the, this chatbot will have a disrupting an effect on many things, especially in the way it is perceived by the public. Maybe Olivier want to add some comments? Yeah, for for, for us, too. so we also have like a fund dedicated to uh, data in AI called Data Venture. Um, so mainly we invest in seed and pre-seed. So we mainly back a, a tech team. So working on uh, developing uh, that engine on a specific verticals. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, we help them like to, to work on the product market fit and, and, and go to market. We think, we think about the chat GPT and how it disrupts everything. In you mentioned the gaming industry. Um, I think for me, one of the use case will be how to we 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 talk about user generated content yeah. uh, and in my in my in my sense in my opinion tomorrow you will you will come to a to a world uh, an immersive world and thanks to a prompt or thanks to your voice you will be able like to create your own uh, your own world thanks to ai because you it will help you without any tools to to uh, to build worlds uh, and it will be uh, really impressive and this is uh, already the case. And another vertical is more about what we call applied AI. Uh, since uh, a decade, it, it, it was more about understand the data, uh, structure the data, and build some algorithm into it, but not specialized. But what we see at Serena, this is more now what we call applied AI, is that algorithm really specialized on an industry, or like in OCR in order to recognize specific documents and so on with 90, 19% of accuracy, 100%, and, and with a, a strong expertise on something. Uh, this is the, the, the way we see it. So you, you think we will be able to ask uh, an AI to, to create a business, plan, a business plan on five years for the next PG deck you will receive? Yeah, it yeah, I think, yeah. That I think yes, especially because uh, as as everybody everybody in the sector knows that the business uh, business plan are more guesstimates <laughs> than anything else. So I think they will be. I think the actually actually chat GPT will be much better than us. <laughs> so one. it's a good it's a good transition for the next question. Question is uh, for the pictures who are in the chat. Uh, what uh, which type of advice? You will uh, give them uh, to to better prepare their uh, the, their deck presentation or how to uh, to well uh, pitch their idea or their project to uh, a VC to be sure that uh, it will be an interesting uh, project. Or so have you some advices for for the people who are listening to us? I think you just said it. You they just have to use the chat button. <laughs> <laughs> so easy today. So easy. <laughs> Well, I was uh, I went on it uh, yesterday. I mean, I, I had an account, but it was completely blocked because they had no capacity anymore. Too many people. That's what we are. So, so what? So yeah. So what? What? What do you like to to hear, or what do you like to find in some projects that are pitched to you? Uh, so where do you think people should work more when they they want to present their their ideas? Uh, do you think they they need to work more on the uh, the the use of their their technology or their ID, more on the figures, more on the, I know that they need to prepare uh, close to everything, but on you personally, which type of the, think, the pitch deck are, are you the most interested? I think uh, 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 explaining the technology in, in, uh, in layman world, 
I think it's uh, it's uh, something that it's an art. It's uh, often very difficult, especially in the in the blockchain space because it's uh, it's quite complex, and nobody really uh, fully understand every uh, every areas of the of the of the blockchain. So I think that's important. And then it depends. Uh, it depends on what you're presenting. Sometimes the figures uh, are more important than uh, than the technology. Sometimes it's more the technology because it's a breakthrough than the the figures. So it depends a bit uh, um, a bit about uh, what uh, what is presented. But um, I mean, making the uh, make, making a, a very clear pitch, and that's very difficult to do is very important yeah for me and another thing is like to raise money for the right reason uh, because a lot of people think it's cool to raise money but there is no real why and mm. when we face an entrepreneur the main point is uh, what are the hypotheses and why we want to tackle for the next 18 months or, or 24 months and why you need you this 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 amount of money and mm -hmm. and it needs to be really clear. Um, the other point for me is like when you raise money, you have different kind of people you 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 have to uh, to talk with regarding the 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 the, the step of uh, of your company and the, the the majority of your company. If you are in pre-seed uh, round and you are I don't know in the in in the, in, the, in the aerospace for example or I don't know. Uh, you need perhaps to, to first talk with business angel who are in the space who can also help you uh, to open uh, their their network in order to uh, bring uh, potential clients or to bring you some uh, a new new way to think about your technology and so on and same thing for the seed or the series a and so on because it, 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 you will lose a lot of time if you want to talk to all the investors uh, in, in the place. Um, so this is this is also something really important to really do a list of people who are really interesting and really evaluated for your for your company for the next twenty four months and, and and so on. Yeah, excellent. I mean, to uh, to com to complement this, I I think uh, it's uh, it's uh, I mean it's a it's a partnership. I mean, we're we're giving money. Uh, we want you to make good use of, of the money, but we're also here to help. And uh, we uh, and uh, I mean, we we are a very hands-on fund, and uh, therefore it's very important that you come to us knowing what you want from us, not just uh, money, but also uh, our expertise in the which space, as uh, Olivier was saying. Uh, so it's important that some research on uh, on the on the fund that uh, on the investors that you are uh, talking to has been made and has been done and uh, and you're clear about uh, what they can bring to the party as well. I think that's uh, that's always a big plus. Uh, that, that that's really good advice, and I, I like the what you said, Valerie, about the simpli simplify, especially on Web three. Yeah, that's not an easy uh, an easy work to simplify uh, the Web three project, and uh, we we can see a lot of time people who are presenting and they are already dedicated to their project. They know perfectly what they are doing, but the people in front of them they don't <laughs> understand at all yeah. what they are working on. So that's that's a really hard work to simplify the message and the presentation of uh, of your project, especially on Web three. So that's a really good advice. And it's not easy. And, yeah, and, and also, also, also see if, if it's presented to us like this, we just wonder how it's going to be presented to the clients because exactly. we, we, we are supposed to have quite a, a good knowledge of the, of the sectors, but they are going, I mean, the, the, the startup is going to go and try to sell its product to people that are, are probably less knowledgeable than us, and then it's, it becomes very difficult. Yeah, and, and Olivier, uh, and also what you you mentioned uh, about the, the the to be prepared to to raise money because uh, often people are, are saying, "Oh, okay, I want to raise money because it's fun, etc." But when you start to raise, you, you you have to be ready because you enter in a really fast race after. You need to be sure that you will spend the money wisely. Uh, I think now the, the cash burn uh, period is a little bit over. 
you need really to to know where you will spend your money you need to be sure that you will have money for more than one year to to manage your your project so that's something people have to keep in mind because uh, when you start to raise money it's not the same uh, the same story than before so yeah. that's and, really and good it, advice and what is actually the the, the ideal uh, deck or i mean uh, to invest in i mean i'm i'm just thinking about bootstrapping is it a criteria for you uh, that is important for for to look at in a, in a startup to invest in for us we do like uh, very much that the investors uh, is committed to the startup so he has skin in the game okay so yeah, and, and it, be... it has to, sorry, to get, it, sorry it has to get a, a product market market fit already or it could be an idea also uh, what what phase I mean, in terms of maturity. Well, for us, I mean, our first, our base fund, we invested into seed pre A. So it was already, we needed at least uh, some um, some annual recurring revenue, even if they were low. But it was, uh, it, was uh, okay. it was a market, a product market fit and a bit of traction. Okay. And the full-on fund, it's for much more mature companies. The same, this yeah. is mainly about their investment thesis and... Uh, which kind of maturity you are looking at uh, on that front. Maybe other, other Thanks questions. Thanks a lot for, yeah, for all the insights. I, I think we have some, uh, some question in the chat. Yeah. Maybe we can uh, we can try to answer at least. But the first one was uh, by Nicola uh, saying, uh, we talk about the B2C and B2B, but what about the C2C? Because I think it's about peer-to-peer -peer, uh, and uh, we know that Web3 is a, uh, is a good way to have a peer-to-peer -peer project. C2C is, is uh, also, you or, is, is also yeah. a very nice music uh, music uh, <laughs> artist. Yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah. yeah. So, so when you when you mean uh, C2C, this is more about DAO or something like that, or yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, yeah, so maybe for, for the moment, this you, is, you uh, to, yeah. yeah, this is. Yeah, I, I don't have the the answer for the moment. We are mainly focused on B2C and B2B because you have like proven business model um, for for funds uh, on the c2c space this is quite harder uh, but uh, of course it will have like some business model uh, interesting for us in the, in the future uh, we look a lot at, uh, of uh, dao in the in the past but the fact that we see that the governance and the way you you you, you communicate on the community and so on this is uh, not so easy um, and the, it, uh, in our in our uh, uh, side, we think it it needs some tools in order to to work on that kind of DAO and, uh, and create a strong governance and and so on. So we look at it, but um, not not so much. We we, we are looking okay, at so, it so, also very deeply in in blockchain and ETC. We are building a DAO project for your information. Okay. So maybe we we can discuss it uh, maybe later. But yeah, that's uh, something very interesting. And tools are missing. And, uh, yeah. So and Nicola precise his idea. Uh, so it was something more uh, Web two uh, uh, oriented at the beginning. But uh, that's a good question. It's a marketplace in Web three. So meaning if you put some clients to clients with a marketplace in the middle, uh, but using maybe blockchain to certify the product or to something like that. So that's a good question about marketplace in web3 yeah it could be interesting regarding the tokenomics yeah if the tokenomics uh, show that it can bring value and you can uh, uh, take value in on different part of course we can look at it clearly so i don't know valerie if you already saw marketplace project on your side or uh, not yet in web3 at least no there are some there are some um i mean i think uh, to go back to the the point of the dao i think uh yeah, I think it's a question of governance. It's a question of uh, regulation. Um, you know, I mean, uh, the DAO, in fact, uh, there is, I think also in, in Web3, what's happening is that the, the legal, the, uh, how can I say, the, the legal requirements are not always completely fulfilled. So for a DAO, for example, in a, in a company, in a fund, you're put, uh, the, the investors or the participant to the company is protected because it has a, there is a legal entity which is called the company in front of her. So it has no legal responsibility. But in, in the DAO, 
often it's that layer of um, legal requirement is not there. So in fact, uh, people at the back are completely fully responsible uh, for what's uh, for what's happening. Uh, so I think uh, I think we that goes back to the fact that uh, the space is not completely uh, regulated yet. And I'm not preaching for the regulation because uh, with regulation comes also less freedom, and that's what uh, the blockchain space uh, doesn't want uh, to have less freedom. They want freedom uh, at all costs, basically. But for the mass adoption, I think we'll have to go to through a step where the uh, the regulators will uh, will uh, enforce some governance uh, requirement. Yeah, that, that that's a really good point about the. Legal requirement. It reminds me the Wall Street bets uh, issue on the GameStop. So saying, okay, that's a group of people, but are they responsible of anything? Yeah. How we can, uh, I don't know, uh, attack them uh, in terms of uh, legal uh, uh, legal space? It's uh, yeah, it's, that's a really really hard topic for the DL. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. Maybe Olivier, uh, same same for you. I imagine, uh, yeah, for yes. the legal uh, legal issues. Yeah, clearly, clearly. When and this we, is this is as for the, the the web two space, if there is like a, a regulation uncertainty, um, this is something we cannot manage, and in your own or the entrepreneur cannot manage. So this is like a risk uh, we have to assess before before investing. So other question uh, on the chat. So about Gerhard uh, is asking more uh, maybe ex exciting trends on the DeFi space. So have you heard about DeFi project? Maybe new exciting friends you, you have on your side? Not so much on my side, uh, basically. And we see a lot of uh, great, uh, uh, great solution and, and made also by a great French entrepreneur. Uh, so we are still looking at uh, that kind of uh, companies, uh, but in not in the DeFi, but we are also looking a lot of a solution who can bridge web two companies to access to the web three space and also how to manage fiat and crypto because if we think about the next decades we are quite confident that uh, uh, corporates will have access uh, assets sorry in the web three and will need to manage also the web two and the fiat and uh, and for the moment this is like a uh, no man's land. There is few uh, solutions uh, who are emerging, um, but this is quite new. So we are mainly looking at that kind of uh, things. DeFi, this is like a way, a way uh, uh, far for us. Yeah, I mean, uh, same here. We haven't uh, looked too much into DeFi, but what we see um, is uh, for the same than uh, for you. I mean, we see the the B two B the business now starting to uh, businesses to starting to invest into the 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 crypto space, and that gives a lot of uh, business model, as uh, Olivier said, in terms of how to account for that, how to um, to do the the accounting, the the taxes, and all that. So there is a new generation of startup at this um at this uh, junction basically uh, and 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 here is the next question uh, the transition is um the, the main kpi kpi you're looking at engagement number of users tvl if we're talking about DeFi also for example what what kind of kpis are you interested for, DeFi? for yeah different sectors of web3 oh, but generally speaking i would say but yeah I think it also depends what is the business model, you know. I mean, yeah. we were talking before of companies that uh, don't have uh, don't have revenue, but have, they have large community. I mean, uh, when we uh, when we invested into the sandbox, that was a bit that, you know, we uh, we we invested on the fact that uh, the community was huge and. Uh, and uh, so I think it depends uh, a bit. Uh, we choose the KPI that is the most ad uh, adapted to the business model. Yeah, and if we think, for example, for 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 the consumer uh, side, if we think to Sorar, um, at the beginning it was more whales uh, uh, using the 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 marketplace and playing cards and buying it and so on. And today they are more working on the experience. So they've built like that free to play uh, bridge in order to uh, 
uh, address the mass market and then convert them uh, to the, the, the paying model with, uh, with buying cards and so on. Uh, so for, for example, at Sora, at the beginning, it was more uh, about TVL and, and about whales on the, on the, on the market, on the, on, the product, on the platform. And now they are more working about the number of users, engagements, uh, retention, and, and, and so on. So, yeah. Good. Yeah, I think what we have seen is that also in that space, the business model, I mean, the, 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 the companies are shaping themselves. Uh, so we invest into something that has uh, that uh, change with uh, the evolution of the of the market, the context, everything. I mean, the sandbox is a good uh, good example. It was a, a user generated game gaming platform. So the users uh, were due to set up the games and all that. And now it's uh, it's something that is much more uh, towards uh, the B two B, the brands, and uh, building some experience and monetize uh, that. So I think. Uh, yeah, they are, they are also, I mean, the blockchain is very much uh, a field of experimentation and um, we it's try and error and uh, I'm sure we'll have perhaps a few more crypto winter, but uh, it's um, it's very much a space where we, uh, we experiment the use cases, what works, what doesn't work, where a brand are experimenting uh, how to engage with customer in that space as well. And, uh... Question from uh, from from David Servet uh, for Valérie, who is asking, based on your experience, is it better to live in Dubai or Paris if we want to uh, <laughs> launch a Web3 business? Wow. <laughs> David, a good question. Then, <laughs> look, uh, I, um, look I, think, I think Paris has a very, very strong uh, tech ecosystem. I mean, I've worked with uh, Paris Saclay and all that, and I think we have great, absolutely great entrepreneurs. And, uh, and that's something that Dubai doesn't have because we don't have the educate, education pipeline to, to, to build that competence, yes, yes, yet, sorry. But uh, we have the, a very strong commitment from the government uh, towards uh, Web3 because uh, they have um, they believe that the, that's very much the next big thing and that's going to to uh, create more than 40 uh, um, 40 40,000 uh, jobs in the next five years and uh, and uh, we see a lot of fund and a lot of un uh, investors coming to uh, coming to the space so it's a very buoyant uh, buoyant space at the moment. So I don't know. I think the mix of the two would be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> but there are many French in, in Dubai. We are pulling quite a lot of uh, expertise. But at least for the weather, for, for now, I would say Dubai for the weather, at least. But yeah, uh, yeah. Olivier, you agree with it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, clearly. No, what uh, what do you think, uh, Olivier, about uh, that where, where uh, uh, where uh, where to locate uh, a business or where to uh, in that space for Web3 nowadays? Yeah, I think there is um, a lot of entrepreneurs I know in the space uh, or based in Lisbon or also in Dubai, but also for a fiscal reason. Yeah. Um, but there is also that ecosystem is like, uh, as you mentioned, uh, with uh, in creation in that uh, in, in France, also in Lisbon, yes, in Dubai. So, and there is a great entrepreneur. And the fact is, when you are in the Web three, you you are you are a degen. So 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 mm -hmm. you you can work from anywhere. And mm -hmm. so uh, sometimes I have some entrepreneurs who are, and 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 I don't know, uh, uh, the the uh, in in Imagina or in Brazil working on a Web three company, and they are mm -hmm. doing things well. So yeah, uh, there is no real great space to to work. Uh, this is a. You know, this is more about uh, community. Yes. Even even uh, Julian Botlou is uh, is working from yeah. Portugal. So. Exactly. <laughs> so I think we arrived to the end uh, of this uh, episode. It was really great. A good question from Camille uh, to finish uh, to finish. So if people want to provide some pitch deck to you. What is the best way? Have you got some website? Have you got uh, from, uh, I don't know, your LinkedIn uh, 
account how do you receive usually the, the pitch deck from people uh, i put my email address in the in the chat excellent same same and for me with pleasure i have, I have seen that uh, david is announcing a pretty uh, cool event shame that i'm not here anymore we, we will make a second one david you unmute we'll make another one in dubai i think that's what he said exactly <laughs> you're welcome i will help you to organize excellent valerie uh, we will very nice uh, very nice idea and actually two two events also in paris so the second of march metaverse and business and uh, the third of march where, where we, we would have uh, drinks uh, and gather vcs in web3 so uh, we'll manage to to find out uh, a date in in dubai or in paris with you valerie also and, okay. and uh, olivier so thank you very much again for this discussion it was very interesting and maybe one last question uh, would be to would you know um, what kind of advice would you give to the to the students community willing to uh, do what you're doing now? You know, being an investor. Ah. It's not a linear, I would say, journey. No. But yeah. what, what kind of advice? Yeah, very tough question. How, how, mo how money? <laughs> how money first, <laughs> and after you invest? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Look, I think uh, for uh, for me, uh, I think uh, for us, it's important to have been an entrepreneur, so to have gone through uh, some of the difficulties and some of the excitement as well, but also uh, so to have been in the skin of one, then you realize uh, a bit more what it means uh, uh, to invest in it. That's right. If you, you need some trainee or some uh, junior uh, investor, uh, that could be a really good uh, opportunity for people uh, in HEC to uh, to contact yeah. you. I don't know if sometimes you need some uh, yeah. some people yeah, of uh, in your company. Yeah. 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 So That's same good. same 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 that uh, for the the pitch deck. I guess yeah. they they can yeah they can uh, send to you uh, an email and uh, with a, a resume uh, in blockchain and that's good. Yeah. An NFT, mm -hmm. an, uh, and a resume in NFT. Yes. And, and AI also, AI. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I need to conclude, yeah, Eric, please. Yeah, so thank you, both of you. It was really great. Uh, I think with David, we, we enjoyed a lot. Uh, okay. In any case, uh, we let the people contact you if they need more information. And I think us, we will uh, organize some events, our next event with Blockchain HEC to to meet maybe uh, in person or uh, maybe also online. And it was really great. Thank you, both of you. And uh, you. let's see in the, in the metaverse. Mm -hmm.